Hello, welcome to my bloggy pod. Um, you're very welcome. Thank you so much if you're coming for the first time. And thank you so much if you're coming back and you've visited before. Um, I'm, I feel nervous today for some reason. Um, so yes, my name's Sherry. I live in the southwest of the UK in Devon, um, where we have, it is Saturday, the 24th of August. Uh, we have a lovely, uh, it's bank holiday here in the UK, so we have, which means we have a Monday, it's our bank holiday. Um, and it's lovely weather, so that's really nice. I'm hoping to get into town later where they've got a sort of big celebration day going on. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, I always say I just wanted to show you, first thing that I wanted to show you that I've been really, really busy dying up yarn this week actually, so but I thought I'd show you just a few little bits. So, actually, if you're going to watch my vloggy bit at the end, then you will see me nattering on about this. So, kind of, didn't think this through, really. I probably should have not shown this on my vlog. But anyway, I was inspired by a book that I've shown before, Caroline Zoob, Hand Stitch Home, I think it's called where she makes a pelmet. And someone actually commented the other day that, uh, from America saying that they had to look up a pelmet, by which I just mean um, sort of dressing just around the top of a window. But kind of in a slide of a bit more simple, modern style, really. So I have got a friend, Karen, who is Cozy Corner Quilts, who is very talented at quilting, patchwork, etc. And we went to a quilting show a few months ago, Karen and I and lovely Gaynor from Tales from Cuckoo Land, and we saw all these amazing quilts, and we came away, Gaynor and I, thinking, right, we're going we're gonna to make this, and there's something about quilts that's quite daunting, so I thought, as I said on my last one, I was going to put together some little squares and just do a sort of simple patchwork to get me going. Anyway, so I thought I'd just show you what I ended up doing. I actually haven't got any further than, I, than you see at the end of the vlog, but so this is the patchwork that I put together and I decided in the end to intersperse it with some vintage embroidery that I'd found. So it's kind of patchwork, embroidery, patchwork, embroidery, that's sort of the centre bit. And then these little bits here, this is some more vintage fabric that I had. And I thought I might do some just raw edge applique on that. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it actually. It's pretty, I just think it's got that look that I wanted. So what I'm going to do, because the back is just like this at the moment, I was going to put Velcro on it, but what I'm actually going to do, I've been to Ikea and seen, it's like a cafe rod with tiny little clips like pegs that go all the way along. So I'm going to back this. I was going to do a, a scalloped edge, but I don't know if I'm going to do that actually. But then I'm very indecisive, so I might. But then I'm just going to clip it up. So I'm very pleased with myself there, but I'm quite pleased with how simple that is to get going. So that is that, oh, and I put these on. So I pick things like this up. Where are we? All the time, I'm still sewing it on. And my husband will often say to me, but what's it for? And I say, it's not for anything. And that's what it's for. So I just think it's lovely to go on there. And I've also got some buttons, which I might put on. And I've got quite a few mother of pearl buttons. Or, if you know me at all, you know I like polka dot. I might put some polka dot on. But I'm really pleased with that. And I've also got a shelf now. 
that I've just put up. And I'm going to do some bunting. Oh, oh, it's glass water with what I've got left over from this patchwork and some other things I've got. Uh, some old clothing. So do you ever have clothes that you wear them, wear them, wear them and they've got holes in? Which this has, this blouse has got a hole in it. That was Archie jumping up at me once. I made this blouse and I love it. I've had it for years and he, um... anyway, it will get to a point where I've patched it, which I've done before, but I can't throw it out and I can't, you can't give it away. So I cut it up and I've shown you this before. If you've watched my Stitchy podcast, this is a cushion that I made. And these were all my favorite fabrics from blouses or just off cuts. That's a fab, I love that blouse. Yeah, or just little bits of fabric that I found to mix them all in. So I thought I would do that. I would use the rest of this patchwork. I cut up some of my blouses. And I'm, did I say? And then I'm going to make some kind of bunting to go around the edge of the shelf. That's the next plan. Anyway, this makes an appearance because it has got something to do with later on in the podcast, which I'll show you in a minute. This is only going to be a really short little introduction bit. Something else I've been making. I've been making these for forever. But I've started making these for um, shopping. And some of these little bags, which um, they're just little drawstring, cotton drawstring bags. That's just a straight one. And then this one just has box bottom. They literally take 10 minutes to make. And I, I'm going to use these for, I use them for lots of things. So I use one of these for putting my makeup remover pads in when I've used one to, before I wash them. So I get a few together. Bigger ones for shopping, but this is for when you go into a shop and help yourself to things. What am I talking about? Where you, where you, whether you don't use carry bags, except just plastic bags. So I've got that. And I don't think you'll be interested in the tutorial because they're all over, but it's just a simple, oh, this is um, a little, a thin cotton. And then I've just turned over the top so it doesn't fray. And I've just used twine, which is what I use in my wrapping. And then just put a little stamp on it. I might try painting some of the others as well. But anyway, I've got quite a few of these in all different colours. So when I go out, they just weigh these. And then you fill it up with whatever. And then you, and then they just take the weight of the bag off. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that because um, I'm really into, that's something else that Gaynor really made me think about actually, packaging. And you think you're doing really well if you have quite a lot of recycling, that's good. But I was reading the other day that actually here where we live, Exeter City Council, so much of it that goes to recycling doesn't actually get recycled. So I've got a bee in my bonnet now about all of that. Anyway, that really is the makes that I'm going to show you because we have spent most of the week dyeing up yarn, which I will show you in a second. But in news, this little lady who you've seen before, this is my Nancy, who is made by my friend Vivian, who's Green Rabbit Designs. Anyway, she started making cats as well, which I'm very excited about. Very excited about. So um, if you don't follow Viv, Green Rabbit Designs on Instagram, you might have a friend. Also, another lovely Instagram account is another lovely lady who doesn't live very far from me, and her name is Lily, and that she is Lily Warren. I think it might be Lily Dot Warren. If you love animals, she lives on a farm. If you love animals and you love yarn, you'll love her account. That's really lovely. Um, yeah, and actually, I must make a list. Obviously, Nick at the Cottage, I've said that many times before. But simply because she starts my day off every day with a smile or I'll go off Googling something that she's talked about, a quote. But anyway, so, see you over there, Nancy. That was a very rude dumping you down there. She sits in my workroom next to me the whole time. It's a gorgeous little thing. So, I'm just a bit of shop news. Just wanted to show you some of the yarns we've been um, dyeing up this week. So, we have done three new colourways and re-dyed two others. 
But we've started getting some more bases in because some people have been saying, do you do it on this base and do you do it on this base? So we have started to do that. We've also just got in some vegan yarn, which, but we have to use different dyes for that. So I haven't actually got many colorways for that yet. But also, would you be interested in 100% merino? Because again, some people have said they don't like the nylon. And then if you did want the merino, would you want it on double knit? Anyway, let me know in the comments if you do, if you do buy any of my yarn, if there's anything that you would like to see. Anyway, this new colorway is, um, which we've got on lots of, lots of bases, is Lavender Cottage at Dusk. And so this one, which is on our sparkly Stellina base, if you can see it at all. And that is sort of lavenders, mauves, caramels. Mm, that's lovely. This, anyway, this colorway comes on Stellina. And then we have Donegal Double Knit and Donegal Sock. They look very slightly different. They dye up, the, the yarns take the dye very slightly differently. And then that's sock weight. And then here we have mohair silk, which is a lace weight. So that's double knit, Donegal double knit, sock, platigum sock, Stellina and mohair silk. So that's on all of those bases, should you like Lavender Cottage at Dusk. And then we have also got In the Deep Woods, which I have got on Donegal Double Knit and Sock. And, whoops, Double Knit and Sock, not Donegal. So Donegal, not Donegal. So that's in the deep woods, and this is summer glade. We also have um, dyed up a few more ballroom silks. This is on platinum sock, and that also comes in mohair silk. And uh, I, th I'd be honest with you, it's Saturday. We had we had our shop update last night. I'm not actually sure which ones of these have sold out or not. This is rhubarb. I think this actually has sold out because I think I've seen some messages this morning from people asking for that. But those three go together beautifully. So you can ha use this on its own or hold it double, so that you get this halo on your on your garment which is lovely and some more grandma's quilt but I do know that that's gone and one bag which surprise surprise has polka dots um, little hand sewn tabs again and goes rather well with that anyway that's shop news um, I actually need to get it together and have a see what is in the shop and isn't in the shop before I show it to you, actually. I'm wearing this because, um, I'm making a bit of a faff of it, actually, because a few people have said they can't hear me properly, so I'm, I'm trying this to see if it makes any difference because I can't really, I don't know, I can't talk any differently. So I think maybe it's on my vlog they can't hear me, I don't know, but anyway, I'm trying this out. Just to finish... I just wanted to do a little giveaway actually because I picked up some books and this one was one that I already had and I wondered if someone would like it. It has got, so this is the Observer's Book of Garden Flowers. It doesn't, it does, it is written in. I don't know if that worries you. I like that. I like the fact that a book's got history but there's that and then a couple of hoops I was sent these hoops to try 
This one is Trimits, which is one of the, one, the type that I normally always use. And this one is Clover. So if you do embroidery or you would like to try embroidery, that would be really lovely. And then I can pop some, try not to scrape all this. I'll pop some threads in, um, some needles, and some little scissors. So if you would like to win that, it doesn't matter where you are, I'm happy to send it anywhere. Um, what, perhaps leave a comment below and say what is your, what's the favourite thing you've ever made? That's where my cushion comes in because this is a really simple thing. And if you look at it closely, it's not perfect, not by any means, but I love this. I really, really love it. So what's the favourite thing you've ever made? It could be knitting, crochet, cross-stitch, quilting, anything. I'd just love to know. So thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. Again, thank you for all the people that have subscribed over the last week. That's been amazing. And I hope you enjoy the vlog. Thank you. So I just bought these in Darts Farm and we've just popped Tesco and I had them on my lap. Look, I could wet myself. <laughs> I'm going to have to sit in the car. That's unbelievable. Okay, that's remedied. I found a poncho. So I'm walking
Jackie Francesco and a poncho. Look, unbelievable. So embarrassing. Well, that was embarrassing. And I was thinking, I was just saying to Keith, imagine that had happened and I don't know, you were on a bus or something and you had to get off and you didn't have a poncho. That just looked for all the world like I just was. Seriously. I'm on the floor now anyway. That's the end of that. Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm just having a cup of tea with my Mother of Dragons mug. Uh, and actually I'm having, I'm drinking oat milk and almond milk and soy milk etc at the moment. And actually tea with that sun sweetened soy that I've got in there is really nice. Sometimes tea would taste a little bit bitter to me. I really like the taste of that. Look at that mark, my table. That's annoying, I need to find out how to get that out. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, how many times have I said that, what I picked up yesterday in my little foraging around. So, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Not much actual thread on there, but... Oh, I did a little happy dance when I saw that. And these. It's just, you know, the idea of who was, who was using these things. I love uh, to collect things like this. And then I picked up this, which I got for my... Um, oh, which I'll show you later. I've got them all laid out in my room so you can see my hands there. Um... I've laid out all of the patchwork squares, so I'm going to see if this fits in, because there is blue in this, so I might have to introduce some blue into that one downstairs. But isn't this lovely? It was so pretty. It's actually a runner. She made me feel really guilty, actually, lady, because she's saying, um, oh, how lovely they are having runners, and, uh, you know, it's so nice to see them being used again. I wasn't going to use it as a runner. I was going to cut it up, actually, for my little pelmet that I'm making which I think I might still do because I won't use it as a runner. It's going to go away in a drawer. Uh, this way it's going to be out every day, so I think I am going to cut it up. But I just thought I might cut some of these up and sort of mix them in with, yeah, with what I've got. But there is quite a bit of blue in that. But anyway, we'll figure that. Isn't that lovely, though? I wonder who stitched that. I always say that. It's got a few little marks on it. I don't mind that. So that was lovely. That all came from the same place, those three things. I was a bit sort of over the moon about that. And then I picked up some more books. Now this one, books. This this one I have been wanting for a long time, actually, to get a nice copy of it. I'm really pleased with this one. And it is, look at that. Who is Elizabeth Smells? So where it originally came from. If that's picking that up, actually, this light is a bit difficult to film in. 1962. Yeah, really, really, really thrilled with that. Just looking at, yeah, where is it now? Anyway, the black-headed gull, which we have lots of here. That's lovely. This one, which again I've wanted for quite a long time, it's a bit... The cover is a bit torn, but that's fine. I don't mind that. So, um, that is 1950. Look at that. Garden flowers. Now this actually, look, someone's written all of this in the front. This one actually, I do have but I thought it would be nice, because I know some of you like to collect, you, you're saying that you're looking out for these. So I thought it might be nice to sort of include it in a giveaway, really, if you are. I have to figure out how to, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to go about that. 
what I'm going to put in it. But yeah, I thought that was nice. I know I know I already have one, but I, I did get it with the intention of of passing it on to someone who would love it. Um, and this one again, wildflowers. Does it get any better? Seven shillings. Dog rose on the front. Just love these little books. That was a lovely one. And this one, trees, which again, I don't have this one. 19, 1962. Yeah. So they were lovely. Really, really pleased with those. And they were just in a basket, just under a load of things. And I was like, are these, these for sale? She said, oh yes, yes. chuffed when I found those. Anyway, the nature notes of an Edwardian lady. So I have um, the country, di country diary of an Edwardian lady. Let's put it over here, shall we? I've got this one, which you're probably very well aware of. And I have nature notes, which is basically where you write your own nature notes in. But this one, sorry about the light. Yeah, that's not helping. Um, this actually was written before the country diary of an Edwardian lady. I was chatting to the lady in the bookshop. Got this one from, the, from my local bookshop. And yes, this was originally called Nature Notes 1905, I believe. Um, yeah, that's lovely. And some of it actually was from her Edith Holden when she came to Devon. So I'm really sorry about that filming. That's not helping at all. It's not very good, is it? Uh, and I was just reading about her, actually. She got married and went to live in London, I believe, and she drowned. I think she was collecting... Um, oh, what was she collecting? Berries or something uh, on the riverbank, and she drowned. How sad is that? I did not know that. I'm really sorry about this filming. I've just noticed you, because there's sun on it I can't really see properly and I've just noticed my this you can see my phone in this all the time shadow I'm really sorry I don't think I'll be able to use this anyway that's my little find so good little forage anyway I'm just doing some of my knitting this is my well, I'm just about to these are my um drippity drop socks by lovely Kay Jones bakery bears Looking forward to having a bit of time to knit on those today. And yes, I've laid out all the patchwork squares downstairs in my room. So I am going to uh, see if I can add this in and do a bit of sewing today, which I'm looking forward to. And as I say, it's sun is shining, so I was expecting this. So when I'm a bit funny like that. If it's sunny outside, I feel like I should be outside. Oh, I must get outside. Um, I find it really difficult to be inside when it's sunny but I definitely want to do some sewing today but also hopefully have a little barbecue later so anyway you'll be watching this after it's recorded obviously but I hope you have had um, a lovely Sunday whatever, you're, whatever you did but anyway I'm going to go and have my cup of tea so that's the plant that was responsible for the mishap yesterday I uh, picked this up yesterday for one fifty from Darts Farm. Don't know what it is. Does anyone know what that is? Anyway, it's quite happy there now. This is so I patched together, you know, placed where I wanted all the all the pieces for my. Oh God, listen to me. Finish your sentence, Sherry. For my pelmet. And I think I'm going to add these in somehow because these are beautiful little vintage bits of crochet, which I can't separate now. Yes, I'm going to put those on it somehow. And I have, I don't know if I can bring myself to cut that into that embroidery now. I think I might just put this whole thing, I'm going to put this into squares of maybe three wide and then have panels in the middle. Um, I'm going to stitch the whole thing onto some linen and then maybe just do some little embroidered flowers in the middle of it. I don't think I can bring myself to cut that runner up. And then maybe do some scalloped uh, edging like in the book 
that Caroline Zub suggests. So I'm going to get going on that because otherwise it's not going to get done. So after much faffing around and agonising, I've decided I did cut it up. Um, so I've just got patches of 4x4 four four, um, patchwork. And that's the centre. And then another one. And then that, which I'm going to put something in the middle of that. And another one. I think it's quite pretty, actually. I've got to um, put it onto some backing fabric, which I've got here. And then I'm going to stitch the Velcro onto that. And then I'm going to add some white linen as sort of scallops sort of underneath each one of these, if that makes any sense. Um, and then I might put some little embroidered flowers, oops, a bit messy close up, some embroidered flowers um, onto that, I said home again, onto that. So it's still a work in progress, but I have faffed around deciding what to do, but I'm quite pleased with it now. So on a Sunday, we tend to have um, a sort of late afternoon something to eat, rather than a traditional Sunday lunch or something like that, particularly at this time of year. So this is it. This is, this is as cooky as I get on a Sunday. So it's just whatever I can find in the fridge, courgettes, tomatoes, celery, there's a bit of nectarine in there. That was an experiment. Um, and then roasted peppers with tomato and garlic. And, and then I've got some potatoes that I'm doing and yeah whatever else I can find. Potatoes with garlic and rosemary and that's just going to go with the barbecue and I have got a veggie burger. So that's it, much simpler than a big roast, just as yummy. So there's my girls <coughs> and then here we have a ferocious monster barking at them. They are not taking a blind <coughs> notice, that's Hoppy, can you see him still hopping? <coughs> Shh. Oh, you are noisy. No, they don't care. They do not care. So, we've played it again. Go on, announce it. And I played as Wario this time. And I've won again. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Why don't worry? Eh? Congratulations. <laughs> I know they're a nuisance, but how beautiful is this guy? You're lovely. Yes, you are. Hello, little one. It's a little um, chick, actually. He's not that old. So, I have no idea why he sleeps like this. He's snoring. Oh, Ellie, you woken up? But he sleeps with his head propped up against a wall. Like a little nut bar, aren't you? Shh, you better sleep. Good afternoon. So today is Wednesday and it's been a really, really busy dying day so far, and these are the pre-orders for, and the lovely caramel colours of that are not showing at all, um, of these are ballroom silks, and these are grandma's quilt, and these are the pre-orders that I'm just packaging up and sending out to you. Thank you for your patience. And I'm also, now we've got our internet back, listening to some podcasts while I work so I'll tell you actually in a minute some of the ones I've been listening to little wagtail chick and it's been um it's on my dad's old spade of his that I have in the garden anyway um fork no spade anyway the mum or dad is starting to see the chick off so once they get to the point, I think, when they're territorial. Oh, well, close it on. Yeah. 
I just managed to get a little bit of cheese before it was seen off. I don't know what sort of day it is. I just said it's Wednesday. It's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. Anyway, there's the little lavender bags that are going out with the yarns. Literally don't know what day it is. Seriously, that's not okay. Look at the size of that. And look at the size of the box they've sent it in. Honestly, that firing off an email to them, that is just bonkers. Blooming annoys me. Anyway, that's the quilting foot that I got. But it's a quilting foot that I'm very cross about now. This is like a, the daily queue for the bath. Hello, you. I have pointed out there is a bigger one behind you. I can hear you. Let tail all, her feathers all fluffed out. So pretty, look. For another. Something about bird song, isn't there? That's so therapeutic. Oh, he slipped in then. Did you see that? Hey, here we go proper wash time going on now. I'm not too sure that one in there, look. He might even be a bit embarrassed, I don't know. I am filming him after all. trying to get in and the other one is not having any of that oh, there's another one down here now you are rather hogging that now this has been going on now for about another um, five minutes or so and the one sort of laying down there is not giving an inch. Are you? Meanwhile, they continue to bathe. dead hanging basket look rubbish at hanging baskets I've got some now my neighbours have put miracle grow on and they're great where's that I could tell gone 